up guys and welcome back to another video today i'm doing another video about my sin but by the way guys i think it's like recovered now because i've been walking on it today and when i've been like laying down and stuff it's not been really hurting or when i do stretches and stuff like i've done today it's not hurt at all so yeah I think it's recovered, but yeah, today I'm going to be doing a video about how my day's been and what's actually happened with an update on my back and stuff, so yeah, basically today I went to my granny and grandpa's I basically walked around Woodbrook Way in Loughborough, similar to Blackbrook Way, but it's called Woodbrook Way, if you get what I mean. But it's, yeah, it's like Blackbrook Way, but it's called Woodbrook Way. I went with my granny and grandpa and my dad. I was walking around Woodbrook Way for about an hour and walking around, like, Beacon Road, all them but yeah i was walking through a few like muddy footpaths as well yep and basically i was going up me the hill and i got down to squibble way to where I parked the, where the car was parked and i went back after that but when I got back, my back was killing again because I thought because the whole time I was walking, my back wasn't killing the whole time I was walking. But as soon as I got back, it suddenly changed. It's really, it's even hurting now as I'm laying down. You guys are probably going to be saying I've been over walking. Well, I've not. I've just been, oh, I do not know what is going on at the minute. The other day I recovered from an ankle sprain and twist, bruise and uh, swelling. I just recovered from a sin injury. Now my back is really hurting and I struggle to bend down and run and walk sometimes and I just need to like chill out much more. And I've been looped recently losing my appetite whilst i've been eating food i just have to drink something constantly like every five seconds so yeah i don't know what's going on but today like i said my back was really aching when i got back to my granny and grandpa's house i was walking around up another footpath by myself as well it was like a muddy footpath, guys. And, yeah, I was going up it, but um, my granny and grandpa like, gave me some trust until, like, 5 o'clock, until 25 past 5. So I was walking up this muddy, like, hill, expecting it to go somewhere that I actually like. It didn't. I just ended up in a massive field and... I didn't know where I was going from there, even though I went there a few years back. I don't remember where it like, went, but yeah, I was up there for about two minutes and then I like, I think I like turned back and went back to my granny and grandpa's house, but yeah, because I was like, Oh, I want to see where this goes. I want to walk by myself instead of with my granny and grandpa and my dad. Not in a mean way, but just to earn some, like, trust. And prove that I can walk out the side on my own and have a walk by myself, crossing roads and stuff. And, yeah, they were fine with it, but only for half an hour because I was in their care instead of my auntie's. And they were concerned unless anything bad happened to me, like getting run over, falling over badly, getting people hurt me, stuff like that, getting kidnapped, all that. But yeah, I 
and walked around anyway. But I was told to get back by 25 past 5. Because I wasn't that keen on the walk, I turned back straight away. I got there for like just 13 minutes past 5, 12 minutes early because I found the walk kind of boring, if you know what I mean. Because when you're in these like areas, you've been up it before, I swear it's smaller now than it was a smaller walk than it used to be. Because I think it used to like go further unless I'm going completely crazy or whatever. But yeah, this walk I went on used to go further, I think. I ended up with a three mile walk going up it once, but now it's just not that far. It was less than a quarter of a mile. It looked literally only took a minute to go up the hill and it was over. And I was like going there to get some trust, but I was like, I'm bored of it already because I'm just stuck in this giant field where I don't know where I'm going. So I turned back and went to my granny and grandpa's house because I was stuck in this field. I wouldn't know which way to go or anything. But yeah. Then I got back and I was like moaning all afternoon with my back killing. And um, when I was about to, when we was about to drop my dad back off, I literally went, oh, my back's killing. But we were like fluffing about. And, yeah. Took ages to get back, even longer than I expected, because the A6 was short. So my grandpa, literally, I found it hilarious. He went down the one that would have took him the longest to get back and would have turned round because he went the wrong way. But instead he went the wrong way again and went forward through Croxton. He went through uh, Roefley. He had to go through Collington, through Slyleby. All the way to get me back it was so long it i was literally felt like i was going on holiday it was like a 40 minute journey no and journey that was like 40 an hour long but yeah yeah it took like i think it was 45 minutes if i'm correct but yeah my back is still killing now I've been laying down for like ages because I need to like relax my back. So, yeah. But I think my sins better, like I said it in the start of the video, because when I've been moving around today, I've been stretching it a bit and it didn't hurt. But I did get another like thing happen to me. Like my granny and grandpa was, I was doing a challenge where I jumped over as many cushions as possible. Number one went fine, number two went fine, number three went fine, number four went fine, number five, six and seven went fine. When there were seven cushions stacked up that was. But number eight was dreadful. I literally jumped over. I did a really big run up on number eight and because of how fast I was going on number eight with eight cushions stacked up on top of each other literally jumping like three foot in the air I literally jumped over them as fast as I could run I think I've cut a bit of my toe or stubbed a bit of my toe on the sofa on one of the sharpest bits of it and I'm like I need to sit down but yeah, eight is as many as I could jump over with it without them collapsing. But yeah, today's been a really good day except for my back hurting. My thighs don't ache anymore. I've got over there, them aching. But yeah.
it's either that meat sins better or I've not twisted it or not or not like put too much weight on it. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you're new, turn on personal notifications, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.